welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified for all my future videos. Vamos a empezar. Alright, so today we're going to be testing out the Butterfly series from SXC. I'm really excited because this one is very popular. So it comes with an instruction manual and just like a very quick how to how to do it. It comes with 10 different translucent poly gel colors and they're absolutely gorgeous i really took my time and tried to really mess around with them before i gave y'all some good content so i'm really excited to finally show y'all how it came out all right so it comes with a beautiful pink brush dual ended then it comes with a nail filer um at 100 180 dual forms comes with nail forms it also comes with all these amazing goodies, which is honestly so unheard of in a lot of poly gel kits, so props to them. Comes with beautiful stickers, butterfly stickers, these little cute butterflies that are honestly timeless. You can use them in any look, any season. And then look how cute these are. These are 3D butterflies. They're so beautiful and so elegant. Like I almost didn't want to use them because they just like <laughs> felt like they were going to break. But they were very, very sturdy. Came with six of them, which I thought was very generous. And it comes with like these little crystals that you can um, encapsulate with. You can put them on top of your nail. You can really do whatever you want. You just have to like really be creative comes with a base coat top coat and it also comes with a matte coat like what <laughs> that's pretty cool and the finish on these are amazing i will definitely leave my comments at the end so let's go right in first is jasmina and this one is a very sheer green remember these are translucent so they have like the slightest color anna which is a nice light pink very very sheer then we have angelina which is a beautiful light pink very sheer as well they're all sheer and i also love the way they named these like ariana these are so cute like i love the names that they came up with it's very light green very very light it's kind of hard to tell on my um glitter map evelina which i love that name obsessed with that name like green very light light i put it on the back of my skin so you can see the difference fiona and this one's like a very light i say like yellow orange kind of helena or helena however you want to say it very light sheer beautiful serena this one is a yet a nice yellow and it's so pretty valentina and i think this one is the last one wait no one more and vienna and this one is a light pink as well now i did put them on a white background because i felt like they're kind of hard to see on the my glitter sheet so look how pretty like you can actually see the colors here all right so i prepped and did all my nails I'm using Anna and I'm going in with my Savvy Land um, Nude Pink. So obviously you gotta put a base coat on the nails and you cure that for 60 seconds. Now I, there wasn't any like other nude colors that I can use so I did use something else from another kit but that's okay. You can be creative and like I said I really really tested this kit. I think I did like three different nail looks until I was finally happy with one <laughs> and obsessed with one. And I think y'all will definitely enjoy this one. So, cured that for 60 seconds. And I'm going in with Savvy Land number 13. This is from um, one of my previous kits. You can check a video and I'll link that video down below. And this is just like a nude pink. And I just wanted it to go with the vibe of the whole nail set that I was going with. So, I put a nice bead, cured that for 60 seconds, and then I'm just going in to build my apex and I cured that for 60 seconds. I'm doing that with my thumb and my index finger.
so I'm going in with Anna and I'm doing these for the rest of my nails and I basically wanted to encapsulate my butterflies so I did a nice thin layer of the poly gel and just moving it around so it fills my it covers my entire nail i absolutely love the consistency of sxc poly gel and you know some poly gels that are translucent like this are jelly like they're very very gooey and very sticky so props to y'all because this consistency is amazing like it did not stick to my brush it didn't leave no residue like i just i loved it so much i went in with my light pink peachy butterflies and I am just moving it around and kind of you know how like butterflies fly in like cute little circles and curves so I was trying to like do that flow and follow that vibe so after that I just grabbed some of my glitter I'll link that down below it, I got that from Amazon and I just put a little bit following the flow of where the butterflies um, were going and I thought it came out so cute once I patted everything down I flash cured that for about 10 seconds and then I clear capped that well technically I, I capped it with Anna but I basically encapsulated it just so it can stay in place and then when I file you know it doesn't become like a hot mess. <laughs> So after I finished my ring finger and my middle finger, I'm going in with Anna and I am doing that same thing for my pinky finger but this time instead of filling it with butterflies, I'm just going to fill it with glitter, nice glitter that I have next to me and I just wanted it to also have that same flow so I didn't fill it completely with glitter but just enough and I thought it came out so cute. After I flash cured that for 10 seconds, I also capped that with Anna and just put it evenly on top of my nail. Just enough that way when I buff and file, it doesn't look crazy.
my nails look when I buff them, file them, and shape them. And I love these little tips. I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally obsessed. I can use them for every look, but I won't. So <laughs> just know I'm obsessed. I did go in with my matte coat from this kit and I grabbed some cute little silver caviar beads and I wanted to, have you ever had like those drawings when you were a kid and when you drew like a butterfly you would draw like those little like dashes <laughs> behind them so I was going for that with the caviar beads and they came out so cute so I'm really obsessed with how they came out the finish on this matte coat oh my gosh I thought it was just gonna be like literally just matte no feeling nothing but when I cured these oh my gosh it was like velvet I love 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 this matte coat of course I put that cuticle oil on because my cuticles are suffering a little bit so <laughs> I finished that off but oh my gosh they came out so cute I hope you all enjoyed my video it was a nice easy tutorial it wasn't too bad make sure you comment share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and as always nos vemos en la próxima hey, 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 hey.